there, Coach Lou here from Elevate Fitness and Martial Arts, and this is Eating Healthy on the Road. because I have a lot of clients that come to me and ask me about keeping it clean on the road. So let's say you have a vacation coming up or a road trip with the family and you know that it gets difficult to stay on track, especially when you hit those gas stations, you got the candy bars, you get everything that you shouldn't be eating available to you. You're also on the road and really the only thing available are fast food places. Maybe you find yourself having to travel a lot for work, or let's say your work doesn't offer um, places for you to store your food, um, or you don't have a lot of time to be able to sit and break for lunch. So that's what this is for. Uh, travel can just be like the main thing, but there are some, um, there are some little um, gaps open for you to kind of fill in if this is going to fit your lifestyle. So first we're gonna start with um, the basic necessities that go along with this. You're gonna need to get yourself some type of cooler. You want to get maybe some kind of um, bag that's like insulated. You can keep things warm, you can keep things cold. I'm gonna go more towards the cold area because we want this to be quick, we want this to be easy. And remember that um, the idea behind this is that you're prepared, you're packed, and you're ready. If you are going to be traveling to a destination, like let's say you're road tripping or on a vacation, um, have something like a cooler uh, ready for yourself um, to have in the vehicle or maybe something to take with you. And then, um, if you're gonna be traveling and going to a hotel, what you wanna do is call ahead of time and request to, that you have like a little mini fridge, something like that. If that's not available at where you're staying, then having your cooler or your little insulated bag is gonna be your best friend. So one of the things that you're gonna have to do is plan and prepare for this. It's just like meal prepping, um, depending on uh, how you wanna look at it. It's, it's planning, it's preparing, it's getting ready, and um, it's gonna help you to stay on track. But when you're putting something in like a little cooler, you wanna be a little bit more um, thoughtful about, okay, you don't wanna overpack, you wanna think about what do you need? Like, do you need breakfast items? Do you need snack items? Do you need lunch items? Is this gonna be an all day thing? Maybe you need a bigger cooler. Do you need dinner items? Do you have multiple people with you? So start thinking about those things Go ahead and uh, come up with some ideas, jot them down. Um, I've included ideas in the link below so that you can see. Um, if you're on like a nutrition plan of some sort, try to stick to similar things that are allowed in your plan. If you are not on a plan and this is just something you know new to you, then I suggest you picking a protein, a carb, and a fat, keeping it, you know, use the eyeball method because you want to think about portion size as well and think of it as breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, whatever in between. If you like snacks, great. If you drink protein shakes for your snack, awesome. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to use this to tell you how, what to eat, things like that. This is going to be where you plug in. I'm just kind of giving you an idea to keeping it cleaner and to be a lot more health conscious rather than stopping at fast food restaurants and picking out on um, you know, things that aren't gonna be the best for you. So what I would suggest is starting with some proteins. You can always bring a shaky cup with you. You could grab some protein powder. And once again, I'm not saying this is the protein powder you should be having. I'm just showing you so you plug in. Uh, if you do wanna know a little bit more about protein, we do have a video on that. It's called The Scoop on Protein. I will attach that in the link below for you to check that out as well, okay? Um, so protein powder with a shaky cup, that's great because that's a quick protein source for you. Um, I like to grab these cool little skewers um, from Costco. They're really awesome. You can have them cold or warm and they, um, they're simple, quick, easy to go. And they run at about, let's see, uh, 
24 grams of protein for, for two uh, skewers, and there's really not a lot of fat or carbs in this, so you get to add and plug in what you need. Um, also, boiled eggs are great if you eat eggs. Um, tuna salads, chicken salads, making stuff like that. Make sure you have a mint. <laughs> um, <clears throat> For fat portions, you know, nuts are always a great way to go. I recommend uh, really measuring this out and just bringing like maybe the servings with you. Um, try not to have like a whole bag of nuts with you because you're gonna sit there and just by the end of the day, you know, kill through a whole bag of nuts and you don't wanna do that. A uh, little, um, you know, peanut butter. You can measure out little scoops. Um, have an avocado with you, bring a spoon or you can slice it up. Uh, if you have dairy in your diet, you can have like string cheeses, stuff like that. Um, if you're a vegan, vegetarian, there's these really cool like little uh, salad kits they have. These ones are quinoa ones. They have lots of different flavors. Um, just go uh, look in your like uh, pasta, rice, stuff like that aisle and you should be able to find that. Pre-make it, pre-cook it, you know, make your own salads, ones preferably that you can have eat cold. Um, you will, let's see, vegetables, tomatoes, cucumbers, slice up your vegetables, slice up your fruit, and we have stuff like Kind Bars. Um, those are really good ones. There's also like the uh, Lara Bars are great, the Quest Bars are great. Um, just making sure you have like little varieties, but you want to plan this out like, okay, for my lunch, I'm going to have this, this, this. For my you know, dinner, if you work that late, I'm having this, or maybe you have dinner at home, however that works for you, these are gonna be my snacks. And then that's all you have in your cooler, this way you're not overeating and binging out on things that you shouldn't be. Um, you can use little baggies to store stuff, you can use Tupperware. Um, I like to use these little meal prep containers because they're super easy. Um, let's see, yeah. So it's pretty simple. If you do end up having to stop and eat fast food for whatever reason, maybe you forgot your meal prep, maybe you, somebody else ate your food. I know for me, my kids do that. So <laughs> um, I've also included in the link um, of the in the description below, things that you can, places you can stop at, I should say, to eat fast food. Not that I want you to, but if you absolutely have to. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it very helpful, please give it a like. Uh, share it with people that you feel that this could be beneficial for. Go ahead and subscribe to our page if you haven't. And please continue to watch for valuable tips and tricks when it comes to wellness on all levels, mental, nutritional, and physical. I'm Coach Lou, and thank you for watching.